Hey Cancers, welcome to your singles reading. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. To my lovely loyal subscribers, welcome back. I'll leave information regarding what decks of cards I use and how to contact me for personal readings in the description box. Okay, guys? Okay, let's see, Cancers, what we have in store for our singles. King of Pentacles, Ace of Swords reversed, Seven of Wands, and Nine of Cups. So you're finding it quite challenging coming together and meeting each other here. Um, this is the person for you. Uh, they're very career-minded, so I would suggest that it's probably you haven't met them yet, or if you're talking to them and just met them, you're finding it difficult getting over how little they communicate. It might be driving you crazy with that Seven of Wands. It can be quite frustrating. Um, but there's a, so much potential there. You're still holding on with the Nine of Cups, Page of Wands, Three of Wands here, and Eight of Pentacles. You're being asked here, if you've met somebody new, to focus on your own projects, okay? That'll keep you busy. This is why, um, you know, self, uh, your own life is important because you can misunderstand that this person isn't interested in you when they are, they just have their own interests as well or a business or something here that they have to run. Um, page of Wands here, they will communicate when they can communicate and I feel like that for you may be frustrating and challenging because you might be thinking, well, everybody has their phone in their hand all the time. If they don't text me, they're ignoring me. No, a lot of people, they they can't work with their phones around and things like that. You know, there might be physical jobs and things like that going on. Um, quite, quite a creative job with the page of wands. So it takes a lot of their attention here. Ace of Swords, I feel like they're more absent-minded. Like, okay, I'm going to text that back and then get busy and forget i don't feel like this person is ignoring you with that ace of swords reversed i feel like more like oh i forgot to reply um so when they do reply and do make contact with you um you know be fun and flirty with the page of wands energy this is what you've been waiting for uh with the three of wands this is your ships coming in you asked so you shall receive here with the divine so as you can see this person um, is focused on building their empire, okay, with the King of One, uh, King of Pentacles energy there, sorry, and the Page of Wands. It shows their business is very creative, so they might not have a regular nine to five, or they might work from home here. Um, so they can almost forget to text back. It's not that they don't want to, and I feel like this is infuriating you. Like, everybody's got their phone, but it's not true. I have my phone in my hand all the time, and, like, kids texting me, and uh, me checking my emails. So I'm not ignoring people. I'm at work here, Eight of Pentacles, and this is where I feel like the divine saying to you, hey, you found that self-love for yourself. Find your passion here. Find your job that's your passion. And, you know, you'll work very well together. This will be a good match here for two people who are working towards their goals. Um, not thinking that, you know, we have to be together all the time and not work is what I call struggle love. Um, you know, if we're together all the time, we can be absolutely besotted with each other, then have no money to actually do nice things. And then we start arguing saying, why do we never do nice things? <laughs> but, you know, we, it takes money, right? So this person is focused on um, bringing money in here and having their own empire, which is wonderful. They're not being selfish here, okay? Because the King of Pentacles energy is somebody who is very grounded, knows what they want, knows what they're going for. Um, maybe you have an interest that you could both do together as well here. Uh, page of wands so some activities that you're both interested in and you can like say have the weekend to do that together but um monday to friday or even monday to sunday sometimes they might be focused on their creative endeavors um but they are very interested here in you page of swords um 
the hermit here okay so this person is not interested in um you checking up on them so if you do anything like that that'll be a red flag to them because they're healed and um they've been through certain relationships where somebody has tried to almost tie them down and cage them in and they didn't like it okay so this person here if they think okay you're spying on me you're watching what i'm doing um don't do it okay <laughs> if you are checking their instagram or facebook or something to see where they are don't do it because not only is it damaging to you um you're lowering your own vibration because you've got to learn to trust again here i feel um trust that the communication you're getting that oh sorry i, I you know I, I genuinely forgot i was busy i feel like you've got to learn to trust that again uh this page of wands energy and not become the page of swords energy um i know sometimes it's very tempting to look on social media and things like that because you know what they say seek and you'll shall find so you might say okay well i text you at this time and you ignored me but you were posting on social media but maybe their job involves being present in social media and things like that so if you're looking for something you will find it and you know you could lose a good thing over this and i think it's just a lack of communication okay with the ace of swords um it's not lack of communication it's forgetfulness um so you don't want to then become the page of swords and start spying to look for information okay um look within take everything you've learned um spiritually or you may even need a spiritual mentor here to find out what's going on because it can be like i'm gonna give up on this person they're not like you know talking to me they are putting all their time into me um and then you might see that actually um that would be codependent right so a step back and to look at it from the outside might actually give you those two steps forward that you're looking for in this connection there you go there's the two steps um two of one so you're actually at a very important time either you're just about to meet this person or you've already met them and there's this going on um so if you haven't met them yet uh you're just about to meet them next because this is the fork in the road this is the decision uh, what you've been waiting for here with the three of wands and now you're at this point with the two of wands that okay I can make a decision do I want to be with somebody and continue down that path in a relationship or do I want to continue single okay each path will bring you um, wisdom um, so don't worry about if you want to continue single it's absolutely fine you might be working on your own projects so this could be all you this reading like um i'm forgetting to reply to people you know uh even the kids and things and i'm just focused on my own business and getting that started off the ground uh you have very good things coming your way if that's the case um but yeah you might not have time for this romance yet we have release your ex the time has come to clear your energy and trust jumping out there this situation is calling for you to have faith. And I guess if you are rebuilding after trust issues, that's what we was talking about there. Okay, retreat. It's time for you to disconnect from the world. Okay, abundance <laughs> reversed there. Um, but yes, this abundance that we have going on, be assertive. In this relationship here, playfulness and look for a sign. So you feel like, oh, I don't want to play games. and I don't want to get dragged into games. I want to know if we're in a relationship or not. And it's reminding you of somebody else. Uh, so this is why. But I told you they're just working towards their goals here with this abundance card reverse. They're working towards what it is they want. So they're not actually playing games with you, okay? You just have to, I guess, embrace that pace of page of wands energy while it's leo season very fun flirty creative um and look for signs okay so you might be seeing the freeze or you know some things about patience and needing to wait and that this is the right person um like i said if they haven't come in yet into your life um they will be coming in very soon here okay cancers so i wouldn't overly worry about i haven't met that person yet because like i said this could be you okay and the family is saying hey uh you're not texting me back just say to them hey i'm gonna be busy on a project for the next couple of weeks so if i forget to text you back i'll get round to it when i get round to it i choose to learn through love cancers let's see here 
Attack, pain, fear and judgment and any form of separation are merely calls for help. So yeah, um, you know, this fear or this judgment here that you're making that, okay, they don't want me here, so I'm going to leave. I know my self-worth. Uh, they're playing games with me. They're not. They truly have something else to focus on. So choose to look at it from a perspective of love. Good luck, guys.